chosen ones. Do you know, nothing good comes easy in life. This is especially true for every born again Christian. We all have a unique and great destiny in Christ. The Bible says we are ambassadors of Christ on earth, representatives of the King of Kings. To make this a reality in our lives, there is a price every chosen one must pay. And this price is absolutely necessary. Anyone who desires to see a greater manifestation of God's glory upon their life must be willing to pay this price. Today, we will look at the four prices every chosen one must pay to fulfill their destiny in these last days. Number one, the price of transformation. The first price every chosen one must pay is transformation. Salvation is a remarkable gift, but it is just the beginning of a transformative journey. Accepting Christ does not automatically lead to a complete conversion of our minds and ways of thinking. As believers, we must be willing to pay the price of transforming our minds to align with God's kingdom principles. Romans chapter 12 verse 1 and 2 says, Therefore, I urge you, brothers and sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as a living sacrifice, holy and pleasing to God. This is your true and proper worship. Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing and perfect will. The story of the Apostle Paul is a powerful example of transformation. Once a persecutor of Christians, Paul's encounter with Jesus on the road to Damascus transformed his life completely. Acts 9. He became a devoted follower of Christ, renewing his mind and aligning his life with God's will. Paul's transformation was so profound that he went from being an enemy of the church to one of its greatest apostles, spreading the gospel far and wide and writing many of the New Testament letters that continue to guide us today. Transformation requires a conscious decision and sustained effort. We must immerse ourselves in God's word and intentionally learn kingdom principles. Our minds must undergo a process of renewal through diligent study, consistent prayer, and commitment to personal growth. This is not a one-time event, but an ongoing journey of becoming more like Christ. Consider the story of Zacchaeus in Luke chapter 19 verse 1 to 10. Zacchaeus was a tax collector and a sinner. When he encountered Jesus, he was transformed. He repented of his ways, gave half of his possessions to the poor, and paid back anyone he had cheated four times the amount. This radical change in his life shows how powerful true transformation can be. The second price is separation from worldly influences. To fulfill your destiny as a chosen one in these last days, you must sometimes walk alone. You must be willing to separate from worldly influences, including Christians whose lives do not mirror Christ, and from anything that lures you into sin. James chapter 4 verse 4 You adulterous people, don't you know that friendship with the world means enmity against God. Therefore, anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego stood firm in their faith despite immense pressure. When King Nebuchadnezzar erected a golden image and commanded everyone to bow down and worship it, they refused to compromise their beliefs. Their steadfastness led to their miraculous deliverance from the fiery furnace, Daniel 3, 
This story shows the importance of not conforming to the world, but standing firm in God's ways. The decision to separate from worldly influences often comes at a significant cost. Friends and acquaintances may distance themselves because of your commitment to walking a more righteous path. This separation may lead to loss of relationships, social standing, or even material possessions. Yet prioritizing your walk with God over any earthly acceptance positions you to experience his profound presence, guidance, and blessings. Consider the story of Joseph in Genesis chapter 37, verse 50. Joseph was separated from his family, sold into slavery, and faced numerous trials. Yet he remained faithful to God and did not conform to the sinful ways around him. His separation from worldly influences eventually led to his rise to power in Egypt and the fulfillment of God's purpose for his life. The third price is perseverance and patience. These are vital virtues for every chosen one. Perseverance is the steadfast pursuit of a goal despite obstacles while patience is the ability to endure trials without losing hope. Hebrews chapter 10 verse 36 You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. The story of Abraham is a powerful illustration of perseverance and patience. God promised Abraham that he would be the father of many nations. Yet he waited many years for the fulfillment of this promise through the birth of Isaac, Genesis 21. During this time, Abraham persevered in faith and exercised patience, trusting in God's timing and plan. His unwavering faith is a testament to the power of perseverance and patience. From the day the Lord gives you a promise until the day it manifests, you need to fight the good fight of faith. Stay aligned with what God has said concerning your life. Hold on to your faith and trust that God will come through for you. Consider the story of Job. Despite losing everything he had, Job remained patient and faithful to God. He endured immense suffering, but did not curse God. In the end, God restored Job's fortunes and blessed him even more than before. Chapter Job 42 verse 10 to 17 Job's story reminds us that perseverance and patience, even in the face of great trials, lead to God's blessings. Number 4. The Price of Obedience The fourth price is obedience. Every chosen one must be willing to obey God's commands, even when it is difficult or inconvenient. Obedience to God's word and his direction is crucial for fulfilling our destiny. 1. Samuel chapter 15 verse 22 But Samuel replied, Does the Lord delight in burnt offerings and sacrifices as much as in obeying the Lord? To obey is better than sacrifice, and to heed is better than the fat of rams. The story of Noah exemplifies obedience. God commanded Noah to build an ark to save his family and the animals from the impending flood. Despite the ridicule and disbelief from others, Noah obeyed God's command. His obedience led to the preservation of life and the fulfillment of God's plan. Noah's willingness to follow God's instructions, even when it didn't make sense to those around him, is a powerful testament to the importance of obedience. Consider the story of Mary, the mother of Jesus. When the angel Gabriel told her she would conceive a child by the Holy Spirit, Mary responded with obedience and faith saying, I am the Lord's servant. May your word to me be fulfilled. 
Mary's obedience played a crucial role in the fulfillment of God's plan for the salvation of humanity. Obedience requires us to trust God completely, even when we don't understand His ways. It involves submitting to His will and direction, believing that He knows what is best for us. This kind of obedience often requires great faith and courage, but it is essential for fulfilling our destiny in Christ. We've explored the four essential prices every chosen one must pay to fulfill their destiny in Christ. Transformation, separation from worldly influences, perseverance in patience, and obedience. Surrender your mind to be renewed by God's word. Sacrifice worldly desires that contradict his ways. Faithfully serve his kingdom through seasons of trial and obey his commands. Embrace your calling with boldness and courage, knowing that the eternal rewards far outweigh any temporary hardships. Remember, our God is faithful. What he promises, he will fulfill. Has there ever been a time in your life when you had to suffer or face challenges for the sake of righteousness? Perhaps at your workplace, school, or in any other situation where standing firm in your faith brought opposition or adversity. Share your story in the comments section below. Your testimony could encourage someone else. Hold on to your faith, stay the course, and trust in God's perfect timing. He will come through for you, and His power and glory will be manifested in and through your life.